Guys, today we have got to talk about the Superman boss inside of Fortnite, alongside his mythic items and his new location. Now, before we get into it, guys, if you think it would be awesome to log into Fortnite today and see your account at level 225 with all of the super level styles unlocked, leave a thumbs up on the video, but be fast before it starts. But yes, guys, we have got a ton of new update info to talk about, including obviously the Superman boss, but also we've got map changes to go over as well as secrets that I'm sure you guys probably don't know. Now, as for the challenge with the comments on last video, the skin was The Visitor. So I went through and left hearts on a bunch of the ones that got that right. And this time around, I say we go with this skin right here. So leave a comment down below if you know the name of it, and I will leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get it right. On top of that, guys, be sure to use code SIRS in the item shop, and I will leave hearts on as many of the comments I see with that too. Oh, and also, guys, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It only takes a second, and we have got a bunch of updates to talk about coming up soon. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it here. So yeah, guys, hopping into it here with the first thing I want to talk about. This is something really cool. It is a bit of a secret. So for this, I'm just going to hop into a solo match. How about that? And guys, I'll just say this. It has to do with UFOs and sharks. Pretty crazy combination, right? So first things first, we need to go and pick up a UFO. I figure like the best spot to go is probably right here. So jumping out of the battle bus, so let's go down there and pick up the UFO. Oh my gosh, the abductor is flying in fast. That's pretty crazy. Oh, and I see it. It's right here. So let's grab the UFO just like that. Perfect. And then we're going to head over to the shark way over there. Oh, and check that out, guys. Holly Hatchery just got a brand new zero gravity location over around that house. And there's also an alien over in that area too. Hold on a second. This stuff is all brand new. What the heck? Yeah, they added an alien NPC around this location finally. And then there's even even like an IO chest right here. Oh my gosh, wait a second. There's two IO chests. What in the world? This is like a great spot to land. You get two of these and a car without even any IO guards. They just set this up to check out the brand new location, investigate all of the alien things that are happening over here and gave us all of this awesome loot. That's crazy. We already just got a full loadout. Anyways, again, that's not what we wanted to talk about. Instead, we want to go back over to the shark to literally pick up a shark. Oh, and picked up a nice 30,000 XP. Let's go. I love getting some easy XP. But all right, now that we're in this area, this is generally where the sharks spawn. They don't see anyone. Oh my gosh, there he is. Let's go. I knew one would spawn over here. So yes, what I wanted to do here is actually pick up a shark with the UFO. Come on, where's the little indicator? There it is. So we're going to use our tractor beam and we've literally picked up a shark in the UFO. That is insane. Look at him. He's just having a good time being carried through the air. Now guys, there's a little like secret. They added a special animation for when you pick up the shark. As you can see, he just kind of sits there looking around all confused. He's like, guys, what's happening here? But he's our buddy, so we got to bring him with us. But yeah, like who would have expected that you can actually carry sharks in the UFO with you? That's so much fun. But I think you know what we got to do. We got to try and drop this shark on another player quick. Oh, there's a guy right below us. Buddy, I've got a present for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. The shark is going. Come on, attack him. No, turn around, sharky boy. Here, I got you. Get him. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's turning around. Oh, he's hitting him a bunch. Whoa, that was a weird jump. But yeah, they're like fighting down there. Come on, shark. You got this. Oh, he did a little bit more damage, I think. He's got to turn around. Come on, man. You got this. Go, go, go. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he got him. No way. Our shark buddy got an elimination for us. That is so cool. You're the best, man. Look at you. Now, guys, jumping into some brand new info for a future update in Fortnite. Before we get into the Superman boss stuff, that's still coming up. But this is a super cool reveal that was found by Hypex. And I think he goes by the name Chemo. But yeah, they were able to actually trigger the animation for the mothership opening up. Like, check that out, guys. That is awesome. And also, it's a humongous leak for the future of the season. Because if the mothership is opening up in the center, it's clear it's going to abduct something on the map. Similar to how it did in the very story trailer for season seven. So what exactly is it going to pick up? Or is it possible that it deposits something onto the map? Considering that we've seen it carry a ton of different locations inside of that main area. Yeah, it's possible it could deposit one of those locations back onto the map, which would be super cool. I mean, you've got the butter barn in there. You've got, what is it? Tomato temple. So many different locations that would be awesome to see actually return. Not only that, if we look in like the loading screen for this season, you can see the mothership 
up opening that same exact hatch. So again, it's gonna play a huge role in the story. So I'm excited to see what exactly happens. But next up, guys, we have got another secret on the map. And this is a really weird one. Like, let me just show you. So if we hop into a Battle Lab match, we need to hop on over to Weeping Woods. Or actually, first things first, let me show you over in Misty Meadows. But as a reminder, guys, for some reason, Fortnite decided to disable zip lines. Like, this is obviously where a zip line would spawn, but you cannot ride any zip line there. <laughs> Again, these have been disabled for a while now, and we're not really sure why. However, and this is where the funny secret comes in if we go on over to weeping woods specifically to this spot right here which happens to have wolves next to it okay hold on a second that's not according to plan now we've got some stuff to defend ourselves with come here buddies you are interrupting what i need to do here you two get over here easy elimination come on there we go now we are all right but yes guys if you come to this location you'll notice that they actually forgot to disable this zip line right here or more specifically remove it you can see that it's still gives you the notification to enter the zip line but oddly enough when you try to enter it it won't actually let you ride it so i guess they did disable it technically but it's obviously still here so you can get that weird animation and maybe if you jump and okay nope i messed up i was going to say maybe if you jump and grab onto it it'll still give you that zero gravity effect so like you could save yourself if you happen to fall right above the zip line but also with that kind of funny is if you just keep pressing the button it makes your screen bounce up and down and is it pointless of course but hey, it's something we've never seen in the game before, so it's kind of fun. Now, guys, it's time to talk about the brand new Superman boss or NPC. That's right, guys. Superman is coming to the map. So let's start off with the basics here. As you guys know, a bunch of NPCs and bosses have been added to the map and are continuing to be added to the map. Like, for example, we just recently had Human Bill, who was a friendly NPC. He was added over in Steamy Stacks. But again, he wasn't there at the start of the season. On top of that, we also got Beach Brutus, who was obviously added for like the summer event and stuff like that and then guys if we look at some leaks like for example the ones posted by hypex he says that there's an upcoming chimera npc or boss that'll show up near the coral castle area but we've talked about that all a bunch what does that have to do with superman well along with that list of stuff hypex also posted that superman is going to be a new boss coming out in the very near future yeah he was mentioned alongside the summer alien and the chimera Whereas the Summer Alien, I'm pretty sure, is Human Bill. So that one already came into the game. So with that being said, expect Superman in the very near future. But what about, like, the details about Superman? What weapons is he going to drop? Where is he going to show up on the map? There's a lot of questions that still need answers. Well, guys, since Superman is a, well, superhero, it's possible we could see the return of that type of mythic weapon like we saw during the Avengers season. I'm sure you guys remember how awesome that season was with all of the different mythics that we could pick up it's likely we see something like that with superman like for example maybe we can get his laser eyes it'd be awesome if it works similar to like the ray gun or maybe the iron man's beam from back in that what was it season four but not only that maybe it gives you the ability to fly a little bit obviously superman can fly so that would make a ton of sense as well oh and this might actually make even more sense superman has the ability of x-ray vision and what item did we just get this season that act similar the recon scanner so imagine that built into a mythic item in some way maybe it's more powerful but considering that they already have that mechanic in game during this season it would make sense that they add it as a mythic item for superman that would be so cool but then moving on here to the spot that superman is likely to show up in i looked around the map a bit and it's possible they add like a brand new location for him like they've done in the past with other npcs and bosses but honestly i think one of the best options that's already on the map is the center that's right guys there hasn't really been anything happening here and it's one of the biggest changes to the map and i mean it's the perfect spot for a superman boss to show up not only that guys there's some other details about this location that i'll talk about a little bit later in the video that hint towards big changes happening but overall guys the superman boss is going to be awesome and then guys hopping back into game here to show you a map change and it's actually pretty similar to the one we went over quick 
that was in Holly Hatchery. And I'm not quite sure when they added this, but if you go towards the center of the map, you know, this area here, which we are still wondering what the purpose of this area is. But what's interesting is that there's an IO outpost, or not really an outpost, just kind of like an investigation site, similar to that one we saw in Holly Hatchery. However, this one actually has an IO guard walking around. <laughs> you can see his footsteps right there. But if we grab a weapon and then go up to pay this guy a visit, we can easily eliminate him just like that. Looks like he has a pulse rifle, but that was easy enough to take him out. And now we can explore this little area. So again, it's got two of these IO chests, which are great for getting loot. A railgun and a recon scanner. That's pretty great. And also this one over here. Ooh, that one gave us a purple pulse rifle. But yeah, they also set up a satellite. There is an IO car we could use to drive away and stuff for them to record what is going on in the center, which is what I find particularly interesting about this spot because it means that they are investigating this central area, which as I said earlier, is one of the biggest changes to the map this season, but not much has happened there. So does this imply that something is going to be happening there soon, like what happened with Believer Beach getting a big change and also Holly Hatchery getting a big change? I definitely think so. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more fun videos like this coming up soon with brand new updates. And also check out some of my previous videos on the screen right now, such as going over a brand new weapon within the files. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.